Oh, money talks. Money, money talks. I like money talks. I feel yeah. like we should have more money talks as... Because Africans creators. don't like money, money talks no. and then even creators don't right. like money talks. Because I think talk. it's such a... Like, the space is kind of hidden. You just yeah. don't know. Yeah. And then now sitting in two spaces for myself, it's just... It's, it's hard because you're really like, hard. which one... Like, what... I don't know. Just yeah, trying no, to it's hard. Balance. Yeah. yeah. What... Is your highest paid deal? Do I mention the amount or like I give a range to? Okay, so let's. You can give it like a range a if range? you don't want to say the okay. exact, exact amount. So I feel like my highest paid happened last year mm -hmm. and the range was between 600,000 mm -hmm. Kenya shillings and 700,000 at once. Okay. So usually it's like broken, maybe right. they'll come back, yeah. or, but this one was like. At once. And was it for a whole campaign or yeah. was it several, like, you know, like individual videos? It was individual videos. Okay. So they had put everything Into in like a one. bundle. So it wasn't only videos. Okay. It was like oh, appearances nice. and then like, yeah, so there was just a lot of different things mm -hmm. other than videos. And that's what brought the price a oh. bit higher than yeah. if it was just. Yeah. Because I videos. think for event appearance, I think they really should. Because I have that as on my rate card, but yeah. a lot of places are like, you know. Just when, come. Just come. And it's like, well, you know, you want me to dress up according to a theme. Yeah. And you want me to have done my makeup. And then you want me to create stories on yeah. there just to post for free. Yeah. No. Yes. Like it's, yeah. It's crazy. Yeah. yeah. And these, the events were kind of far mm -hmm. also. So they were like, we're also going to give you a deposit so mm -hmm. that you're able to That's so thoughtful. reach this. Yeah. yeah. I was like, wow. Yeah. How nice. Exactly. Yeah. 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 So we that one was, yeah. was really nice. I really it's liked nice. that whole working situation. Yeah. yeah. What was the lowest deal you've ever taken and why did you take it? So I think the lowest one I ever took I don't know whether to base this on last year mm -hmm. or like the entire, because I feel like if I'm talking about lowest when I started, yeah, of course you also take my anything. rates were exactly. low. And you're like, you just want to get your name out yeah, there. Yeah, let's just, let's begin. Yeah. So maybe I'd start with last year. Mm -hmm. I'd say the lowest one I took was 20,000 Kenya shillings. Mm -hmm. But it was because it was a brand um, I've worked with before mm. and so we've done like we've done at this point we've done so many mm -hmm. campaigns together yeah and so they were saying how they were just they were transparent they were like we're having a problem with like cash flow at the moment so mm -hmm. would you take this mm -hmm. and so I said yeah I took it and then it was so funny because now after some time the cash flow problems ended okay. and so they sent a contract now with like my rates but higher because oh, they were wow. like because you supported us when yeah. we were like yeah so I took that, that one as well last okay. year and right. then I took now the new contract where they had like almost doubled it because they were like thanks for mm -hmm. you know last time yeah yeah, yeah. Oh, that's amazing and how do you usually negotiate with brands okay so I feel like I go to my mom a lot so my mom works in human resource she also does Perfect. talent management mm -hmm. and she's also a life coach shout out to my mom yeah. Um, so anytime I have a contract, I go there like, mom. Yeah. Yeah. What do I say? Right. So she has like all the HR responses to this is too low, but nicely. Or mm -hmm. like, this is no, we're not doing this. Or like when someone is like, our flat rate is this when yeah. they've not even asked for your rate exactly. card. Yeah. She'll be like, tell them something like, oh, good morning. Thank you for reaching out. Yeah. Um, I love the brand, whatever. I love the idea. But unfortunately, these are my rates. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And yeah. I, I don't also do flat rates. So she gives me all the wording. negotiation. Yeah. yeah, like wording. And then I throw in a little bit of like my legal knowledge mm -hmm. um, in terms of negotiating like the best outcomes, the worst outcomes after negotiation. Mm -hmm. um, I also ask sometimes if I've seen um, some of my, the people who I talk to in the industry also in the campaign, I'll ask them, mm -hmm. like, how much yeah. are they offering you for, yeah. for what, what, and what? So yeah. that I can know, are they just taking me for, for idiot, exactly. you know? Or yeah. are they actually putting everything at par with other creators? Because most times you'll find they'll offer you really low, 
And then you ask your friend and they're like, I, yeah, they said the same, but then I said, no, I can't do it for that yeah. price. And they said this and they said, fine. Right. So they're just waiting for you to say yes, yes or no. to the lower one. Yeah. And they're like, thank God. And then they've saved so much from now what they would have paid you. Yeah. yeah so I do that. I ask, I, I ask around and then combine my knowledge as well. Yeah. Yeah. And then what is the number one thing you ask brands before you collab? So the first thing I always ask, um, what's the before collabing? So is this before I signed the contract? Maybe. Or like, yeah, yeah. Because that would be part of what you're, you know, asking yeah. for, right? I always ask if they can. My first question these days is if there's a deposit. Mm. Because I do like working with deposits, especially... Because my ideas are also, they require money. Right. So if, like, if I can have some money up already front. from up front from mm-hmm. the brand, then it's so much better because I can say, like, for example, um, my skating video, I was given a deposit. So I was able to go to the designer, have the costume designed. Mm-hmm. I was able to just get everything in order mm-hmm. before even filming yeah. to pay my videographer because I also right. used a videographer exactly. for that video. Yeah, and so and I like paying Kenyan creatives to yeah. help me with my project. Yeah. So I like asking if there's any way we can get a deposit. Mm-hmm. I feel like that's yeah. Yeah, that's yeah. a good one. And what um, do you diversify your income as a creator, mm-hmm. or do you are you? I guess you are a lawyer too, right? Yeah, but this now this year is the year I wanted. So last year is the year I want. I was I didn't really have space mm, to or time. that yeah or time yeah. to diversify my income really because it was like a brand comes I'm reading a brand, I'm filming at 3 a.m so I was like this year once I'm done with my exams mm-hmm. is when I want to go into diversifying my income mm-hmm. in terms of I want to develop now my my, my own ideas that I can earn from mm-hmm. independent of whether a brand approaches me for the or, month yeah. or not yeah. yeah so I'm working on that this year okay. so not yet yeah so here yours you're going to act as like the agony ant because okay. we have like some scenarios cool um let me start with this one so okay. how do you ask for compensation when a brand wants to repost your content hmm that's yeah because but sometimes they don't ask no. which isn't great but yeah. i think um Maybe sliding in because they probably you you know they you know they want to repost your content because maybe they've messaged you yeah um, and I think just kind you know saying thank you so much for reaching out I'm glad that you love my video mm-hmm. however if you'd like to repost it I'd really appreciate compensation you know as you're using this to sell one yeah. of your products mm-hmm. um, and then even maybe open the door for a longer term collaboration mm-hmm. being like I you know I see that you've liked. What I've created, would, would you, you be, want? yeah, oh, would you be open to discussing yeah. having, you know, me to create for a few more products, whatever mm-hmm. it is. But I think, yeah, just kindly asking and saying, you know, if this video did take time and effort and if you're going to repost yeah. it and put it on your channels, I would appreciate some compensation. Yeah, because that must happen a lot, especially because you create fashion, yeah, travel content. Yeah, it does, content. it does. And yeah. you're like, eh, you're going to, and then they tell you, yeah, you get exposure on our page. <laughs> No thanks. Yeah, Can't eat exposure. Okay. Yeah. Um, so yeah. Okay, that's that's really smart. That's what I would say. And like following up to ask is really smart. Um, let me pick one long one. Mm-hmm. Okay. So how do I respectfully say to a brand, mm-hmm. I know you're lying when you say you have no budget. Mm-hmm. I also know you're paying other influencers. Context. I reached out first, so mm-hmm. I think you, yeah, I do a lot of self-pitching and I run into a lot of brands telling me that they have no budget for influencers at the moment or right. if they have the budget, they'll completely lowball me. Yeah. Any advice? That's tricky. I also That's ask, I'd tricky. probably ask AI to help me write that email. Yeah. Like, that GPT come in clutch. But, um, yeah, that's a, it's a tricky one also because... As a creator, you also, yeah, Yeah. you approach them, you feel that rejection, you're like, is there something wrong with me? But I don't think so. I think still keeping to how you value yourself and your rates and Mm -hmm. just going back again and kindly saying, you know, like, I don't know how I would word it, but the gist of the email would be, 
you know, like I've, thank you so much for mm -hmm. taking the time to respond to me. However, yeah. these are my rates, you know. And um, I don't know if you would put in there, I, like. Like, would you I, say you asked other Yeah, answers? like, you know, that's a tough one. To yeah, because most times know, yeah. contracts have the non-disclosure mm -hmm. confidentiality. Mm -hmm. So it's like, would you put them in trouble? Right. Yeah. But I would just say, you know. No, being almost like hiding it under the industry tag of being like with, you know, the few relationships I have in the industry, I've been made aware that they are, there is, you know, some budget and I'd mm. appreciate if you would, you know, compensate me for my craft. Okay. Um, but like just kind, like kindly, kindly but also yeah. if they're a brand that are not willing to budge, then maybe it's like, not, not meant to be. Yeah, it's not yeah. for you. And somebody will come along that like, values the work the work that's that true, you that's put true. in that's yeah. really true okay yeah I would ask my mom too honestly mm -hmm. yeah because that's a it's has yeah you'd have to kind of really coat it, it really yeah nicely um one more mm -hmm. so there's a company reached out in June and they said they couldn't afford me mm -hmm. context my rates are low it's $200 for a video stories and a photo package so for, wow. for that yeah I left the email alone because I didn't know how to respond they reached out again and now I'm wondering how to say I'm only accepting offers as per my rate sheets but nicely yeah but again you know thank them for reaching out yeah. um and just say currently I'm you know only able to take brand deals at this level yeah. if you do end up having you know if you expand your budget, budget or you want to come out. back in yeah. you know a few months you can reach out at the door is open mm -hmm. but as for now like these are these, these are, are my rates. rates and those yeah. are pretty fair rates that, that, those are pretty yeah they're yeah. pretty fair rates so I feel like it's you'd even have more basis to reply like right. please yeah come on this is even discounted exactly yeah. Okay, I feel yeah. like this one is for you, especially because um, you do fashion content. Uh -huh. So, a well-known company is asking to pay me with an Amazon gift card. Mm -hmm. How do I nicely ask for cash? Yeah, again, it's, yeah, you just be like, I'm, you know, a Amazon is not going to pay for the videographer that's going to come that's and true. take the videos. But say it in a nice way, yeah. uh, obviously. But, um, yeah, it would be like, I, you know, really love your brand and, I really would love to work with you. However, I would only be able mm. to accept cash for this. For this, yeah. Because, um, it, yeah, it's very easy sometimes to, to fall into... It, to accept the gift. But, like, true, like, we have to kind of look at it, and I keep telling myself, it is a job that yeah. pays bills, and gift cards do not they don't pay, pay bills. bills. Um, so just being... Because, yeah, it, it is... More than I sometimes think of it as it's more than a nine to five job because yeah. like even when you scroll, like sometimes it's not just like mindlessly scrolling. I feel mm -hmm. like I can't sometimes enjoy just scrolling because your like brain is always going like, oh, I should do this yeah. for that or this, yeah, yeah. you know. So like, and it it you're putting you rather than you know mm -hmm. like a nine to five job. You close the door and finish and when leave. you leave. Yeah. Um, so there should be compensation for you know. That's true. The craft and, like, the things that you've learned. You've learned how to edit. That's a skill. You've learned yeah. how to take photos. That's a skill. That's like, true. there's so many things that are involved in being a creator that compensation is only fair. That's true, honestly. Yeah. It's the way you just have to stand on business. But sometimes mm -hmm. standing on business will have you broke. Yeah. You just have to accept <laughs> right. that, yeah, you're broke, but at least you're standing on business. Right. <laughs> That's true. And, like, creating this, like, precedent for yourself that you're known yeah. as, like, not the one who just kind of takes everything. That's true. Because, you know, sometimes they'll have you on a list. Like, this one, just ask her. Yeah. She's going to, she's going to accept. Like, they have the list of people who mm -hmm. they'll accept anything. And then mm -hmm. the ones who, they'll even, they'll even be like, listen, with this one. Yeah. We like, can't approach. You have to approach, like, very nicely. Yeah. yeah. Exactly. Yeah. And I think that's, I think it's a good thing yeah. to kind of have that for yourself. Um yeah, and I think more of us need to, so that, like, collectively, yeah. they, I don't know, some respect us a little bit more. Yeah, I keep saying we need a creator's union. That's what I've be, been pushing. Yeah. I've been pushing this. On, yep. Yeah, because I did a dissertation. My entire law school dissertation was based on um, the future of content creation in mm -hmm. terms of the law. Mm -hmm. And so I went into a bit of, like, tax and everything, mm. but I was like, the only way this is going to work is if we have a union so that you're right. not the one 
pushing that message of pay people and then they yeah. blacklist you. Completely so if it's at right. least a union, it's all that's together. one voice pushing yeah. it, then that, I feel like that's going to be much yeah. better. Yeah, and it's like the future too. It's yeah. like every, you know, every brand now is looking at content creators yeah. and wanting to be on socials yeah. and that's just the way it should be. Yeah, that's what I'm pushing. I've been presenting my dissertation here. I and like, like it. Let's, let's I like it. it. Yeah. <laughs>